today we're going to change the charging circuit on a Yanmar L48 N engine. To make this easier we will need to remove the exhaust and the starter motor. Using a 10mm spanner remove the two 10mm bolts which sit on the underside of the exhaust. Once these have been removed, unscrew the two 12mm bolts on the side of the exhaust port. You will now be able to detach the exhaust from the engine. Now, using a 14mm spanner, you need to loosen the two 14mm bolts which fix the starter motor to the engine. There are two wires attached to the starter motor which you need to remove. The wire below the nut can be pulled loose. Then, with a 13mm spanner, unscrew the 13mm nut which secures the wire to the motor, then detach it. For safekeeping, you can hand screw the nut back onto the motor. Now the wires are detached, you can safely continue to unscrew the two 14mm bolts completely freeing the starter motor. Please be careful when working with electric. Using a 10mm spanner, remove the two 10mm bolts which hold the base of the charging circuit onto the machine. You can then pull the red and white cable holder from the machine. Now remove the plate behind the base by unscrewing the two 10mm bolts. Then disconnect the wires which connect the plate to the machine by carefully pulling them away. This will completely free the circuit. Check the circuit for anywhere or damage to the wires. If they are damaged, it may cause the charging circuit not to work. This could cause the engine not to work efficiently. Whilst you're checking that, you can also check the fuse which is located in the white box. Replace the charging circuit if necessary. Now place the exhaust back into position, making sure it is seated correctly. Whilst holding in position, use a 12mm spanner to screw in the two 12mm bolts at the side of the exhaust. Once these are in place, you can use a 10mm spanner to fix in the two bolts underneath the exhaust. Return to tighten the two bolts on the side of the exhaust. Carefully push them on to the two green wires that are loose in the machine. Once that's done, you now need to fix the bracket back on with the 10mm spanner and secure with two 10mm bolts. Now you can fix the charging circuit onto the bracket with two 10mm bolts, making sure it's secure.
When those components are in place, place the starter motor into position. Using the 14mm spanner, screw in the 14mm screw at the top of the starter motor. Then reattach both wires leading from the charging circuit to the starter motor. To secure the wire that uses the 13mm nut, make sure that it is tied and seated correctly. That's how you change the charging circuit on a Yanmar L4810. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.